Honestly, this is one of those matchups where Mario has a lot of things he can do to Snake. Super good grab, grab combos, which are always nice against Snake when they're through. Uh, because that's kind of the only way you're going to get a lot of damage at one time is a through combo. Uh, if there's even a one frame difference, you're going to get grenaded. It's not what you want. Just like that. But he also has things like the Flood to force awkward recoveries and the Cape to send these projectiles back at him. Yeah. Gets the grab and he reads the landing here. Almost gets the up air up on the platform. And I like the fact that that one guy was looking for the back air confirmed off it too. Alright, he just goes yep. out there and gets the back air. I love the edge guard from Sandy right now. That's... I'm just going to call him that right He's going back soon enough. <laughs> he is, he is, he is. Uh, he's actually going to college right now. And, uh, but he is from the Burbank area of SoCal. Alright. I Lock like that... I, so I'm liking the dash dances too because it mixing up his timing against the crabs or when you go for an aerial or just a jab option there. And and especially so, against Snake who loves to pull grenades. Exactly. If you're dash dancing in his face, you can react. What was that? He so, wanted to meet that, that explosive, the uh, up smash. Yeah, he the did. The mortar, that's what I'm looking for. But like you were saying, uh, you dash dancing? I like the dash dancing because if Snake pulls a grenade because he feels pressure, you can react to that and then dash grab him for it. Exactly. And that's what you really want to do. If Snake has a grenade in hand, dash grab him. If he, he, if he throws it at you, it doesn't actually stop you from dashing into him. If he pulls in and holds a shield, that's still a grab. Like, that's really what you want to be looking for. Yeah, and I like the way that Sandy is playing this too. He's going for fireballs, knowing that Snake is kind of playing a little bit of the camping game. So he's trying to use those fireballs to kind of force the scent and then force Snake out, especially from the corner. Alright, he's got a percent lead, even if it's only 52 to 56. You know, he's going to just play the game the right way right now, where he's just going to play it slowly. Find it rising up here. These uppies I don't agree with. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I've loved his game plan so far. I just don't want to see these uppies. Boost it back out of shield there, and he goes for the high recovery. Ooh, great air dodge mixes him up, gets a cross up, and he's able to get the pro and tilt. Mm, he's got to be careful with those ledge rolls. I feel like he's not quite sure how to deal with them. Or how to deal with the up smash, rather. What he's afraid of, too, is the napalm returning back on the stage, too, which can actually do a little bit of shield damage if it's done, which yeah. will allow that one guy to go for a grab. I feel like in Sandy's place, it's better to try to come for the recovery and then go for a cape. Because you can Maybe, still cape, yeah. yeah, you can still keep the napalm. But the, oh, it's on him. Not much you could have done about that. Yeah. I, the way that that one guy was able to just quickly explode the C4 and then still get in on Sammy as well. That was so well played mm -hmm. right there. He had the grenade in hand, timed his roll perfectly so he wouldn't get hit, and then got the parry on the punish and was able to get his own punish. Yeah. So to watch out for center stage, C4 in place. Oh, he got the trip on the back there, not quite what he was expecting, and that's going to be a reversal here for that one guy. Wake up F tilt. Puts the C4 or the mortars on the ledge. Yeah, and the thing about the mortars too, if you're going for like a jump get up or a neutral get up or a bolt get up, you have to be careful too because the actual hit from the mortar itself, the launcher, it's also a hitbox. Yeah, and the other thing is if you get up attack to try and get snake out, the mortar is still gonna come down on exactly. you while you're in the lag and you're in the same situation. Yeah. That was a really good cape stall right there because the downside oh. can too thing. I'm so sorry, man. Sandy tried to go for a grab and he thought he had it, but the parries from that one guy were on point. No grab for you. Empty hop, and that's going to be a back throw. You know, Tekka's shield is not looking healthy right now. He, I don't... Oh, no. He, got no. he couldn't shield. He couldn't shield because he caught him in the run back animation, and Sandy didn't no, go for the death. He got the shield out, but it was so small it poked it. I didn't even see the shield. I saw What I saw was the run back animation. It looked, I thought I saw him get the shield out, but it, nah. was, just, it was a skittle. Yeah, it was, it was a skittle. Even if the, whether or not the shield came out, it didn't matter. It's my yeah. Point. Because it was even if small. it did, it was too small because of all the pressure he was taking. Where it felt like he was winning, but then he was giving too much respect to Snake, where he would like hit him and then take the shield damage and then continue hitting him, which is good. But if you're in that situation, you can't shield anymore. It's only a matter of time until the C4 hits you. Yeah. Runs in, follows the fireball and gets a grab 33%. Now he's going to try and shark his landing, but Stairmaster on the way down is going to just make him, or going to force no type of respect. Right, this 
sludge just make it difficult for that one guy to approach at all. Here we go. I like the up tilt, but he's actually not able to follow it up. Oh, that was a good oh, tech chase. That what was a lead. really good tech chase. He knew where that one guy was going to go. Yeah, that was so good and a huge lead right now. This is what Tino Tech wants. I like the fact that he angles the flood upwards because it kind of rolled, pushes the grenade from coming towards his direction. Exactly. He's playing this matchup really well. Yeah. Like, even in the last game, he was playing it well, but then he just, in the end, kind of started panic with the shields a little too much. Mm, that was so close. I falls out of the dare and actually gets a punish of his own. I didn't think that fair was going to hit him. He was, like, behind it. Nice. <laughs> he even jumps over the C4. He knows no, that was just was. a 1-1 obstacle right there. It was. It was. That was. A, he jumped over like a 1-1 obstacle. The first little pit right there says, whoop, I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over it, and I'm definitely over you. He takes care of the stock at the same time. Yeah, and looking for a three stop jumps over it again. See, I feel like that one guy's doing a lot to definitely set up. That one guy with a lot of mix-ups here within the C4. But now Sandy kind of knows if I'm avoiding the grenades, if I'm avoiding the same spots where he places the C4, <laughs> and even aware of the timing of the C4 explosion when he detonates it, I'm able to definitely catch up to that one guy a lot more. And we're still seeing it over and over where that one guy's running up to... That was big, and That's he it. got it. That's it, yeah, three stop. stop. I was gonna say we're seeing it over and over where that one guy's running up, up tilting his shield, and then he just holds shield and takes an F tilt to it, and then he has no shield anymore. Yeah. That's one thing, I, even though he three stocked him, I don't want to see that from SDS anymore. No, he didn't ban FD, you have to ban FD. No, no, this is. So if you guys don't know, in the, the rule the rule set states, there are certain stages that are actually banned. This is one of them. But this is not one of them. And if you guys don't know, this it is really actually should be the grass actually hides the grass I need, hides I the C4. To, I need to talk to the panel. Though. The grass hides the C4. Oh, and a never lot mind. Of we get we shop channel. Never mind. Rocket. Rock. The grass Rocket hides the C4, like, and the, the background hides the C4. The, you can't. You literally cannot see the C4 anymore. Yeah. But because the background has those little dots in the background. I have, I'm so sorry. It's really hard to. <laughs> the one thing I miss about this song, honestly, is just how catchy the Wii Shop song is. I know, right? Like, like all of a sudden, like they're hitting each other, they're hitting each other, then the f sound effects stop, and it's just the Wii Shop channel. It's actually killing me. I wish. The, the C4 timed out. Yeah, it did. That was kind of fast. I didn't realize how long it had been there. And it's really hard to keep track of because I mentioned in the background. Oh, and he's and looking grass. for it. I right, up throw into the dare. I wish. Up here afterwards. I'm so sorry. I wish the Switch actually had like music too, like this. The eShop channel at least did. They, I definitely. We would hear it so much if they like put it on Battlefield. They did. We would. All right. Gets the uppers. Goes for a back throw. I kind of expected to see a up B, but knowing it wouldn't kill, maybe not. All right. C4 has to play down. I did notice the spot here. I, I, you can see it just in the grass and the red dots just stop flipping anymore. Especially dude. when you're trying to play, like it's so hard to keep track of. He's literally on it and may not even notice it. Yeah. But I, I like that he's kind of just keeping the fight on one side of the stage, an aggressive fair, and that's gonna be another stock for SDS. He talks <laughs> on it, gives him a thumbs up. He can't take me to the stage and not expect me to understand the game plan. That's literally what SD is saying for. I do so one thing I'm liking about Sandy too is that when he goes for the up from up below, he's making sure he gets the hitbox so he's yeah. ready for that snake down smash too as well. Yeah, and I like that he kinda knows you know I don't know exactly where it is, but I have a general idea of what half of the stage it's on and I'm just gonna stay on the other half. Exactly. I don't, want, I don't even wanna get be close to wrong about it. Right, and since there's no platforms, he understands too, if I keep the battle to the one side of the stage, I don't have to worry yeah. about it as long as I see where it's been dropped. See, and he's just gonna chill out on the left side. But yeah, in the SoCal rule set, this stage is actually not bad. It doesn't mess with the X and Y axis. Goes for an air. He, I was going to say, he's look, looking for a possible forward air. C4 has in place. It's still actually not even at the same side. And Sandy lost track of it. I feel like this time he knew where it was still. But the problem was that he had got caught in the skid animation like he did the last time. All right. A back edge. Leads the cross up, gets it, and now he's just all over that one guy. Yeah. He knows. Yeah. He knows the back air meets the threshold. Oh, lost track of the C4. I even didn't see it myself. Exactly. That's the issue. The grass, because it's, uh, it's uh, in the 2D plane, 
it's really hard because it actually covers the, the dot and yeah, the it's in, it's in the foreground of the actual stage. Mm -hmm. So you can still see the blinking red dot over time. Now, where'd it go? Where yeah. It go? It's literally the same height as the foreground. Mm -hmm. These little tech things are just. Oh, that was good. That was good. That one guy definitely mixed them up too. He exploded it for a reason. He's going for a fake out jump. And he set the C4 out again for a good, for a good reason. SDS looking to take this one, mm -hmm. but the F tilt puts him in a bad spot. Can he get around that? Oh, no, he goes too low. Yeah, he went too low. That one guy not quite out of this game just yet. The dare? Not going to do it. Stakes a heavyweight. All right, there's no C4. He actually drops it in the air. Like you said, Sandy kind of has to keep the battle to one side of the stage, especially when the C4 is out in play. I feel like it's starting to affect SDS a little bit. He's getting, he might be a little frustrated. It says, I can't see these. I don't know oh. where I'm supposed to be, but the upfront has trades with the bear, and that's going to be it. Yeah, Snake does extend his hurt box out there when he goes for yeah. the back air. It's not disjointed. He kind of just fly 